Good morning guys and welcome to a brand new vlog from myself Sarah Disney. I do come to you very tired looking. Um, I had a bit of an emergency visit to the A&E yesterday um, but I'm going to talk about that in a different vlog a little bit later so you'll have already seen that. Um, look at these bloody eyes. Um, so much pain, so so much pain last night wasn't I Nick? Um, I came home from hospital with codeine it didn't really sit well on my tummy or anything, it made me feel really ill and I took some more and more about 2 o'clock this morning eventually settled me and then woke up at bloody just after 3 and it is now currently 5.30 so yeah I'm going to have a nice cup of tea and some toast with Nicky who is here um, so yeah I've got two cats waiting for me down below got one ear and one ear they're waiting for some food they've got dry food but they know they get wet food in the morning which they're not having because it's not laying very well in the toilet department let's say so the, they have plenty of water they've got good dry food they can survive on this dry food we will try them on some other wet food um, but it won't be whiskers that's not doing them very good is it the tummies so yes that's where we are this morning um, the kitchen looks like a bomb's landed um, so I'm not going to turn the camera around the other way um, first of all first job is for us to have a cup of tea and toast and come round on the sofa so we'll see you in a little while look there's Nick over there making cups of tea you can't see the said cups of tea because he's just walked in front of them but bye for now guys, bye 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 Hello again, so I just thought I'd uh, do this update from my bed um, not having a good time of it at the moment um, um, Yesterday I was at A&E um, for excruciating pain um, As you know I suffer with um, quite a lot of well, fibromyalgia and quite a lot of other stuff, um, epilepsy and um, it's my cirrhosis, my non-alcoholic cirrhosis that's causing <clears throat> most of my pain at the moment. Um, yesterday I had referred pain from my liver up into my chest and my arm. Um, they had to rule out that it was my heart and um, yeah. So I've, uh, they did prescribe me codeine but I took one tablet when I got back from hospital last night and it played havoc with my stomach. Um, I do have a um, horror morph for breakthrough pain, so about 2 o'clock when I couldn't cope with the pain any longer um, I took a dose of horror morph, 10 milligrams, 5 mil spoon um, and that got me off to sleep till about 3.30 this morning and then I um, I got up, um, well got up eventually at 20 past 5 and that's when I opened this vlog um, been back to bed for a few hours after that <coughs> And I've been downstairs, I was watching a bit of TV with Nick um, <clears throat> all afternoon. It's just gone 25 past 3 now. And the pain in my liver's returned, so I've just come back up to bed and had some more or more. And yeah, this, this is a typical bad day and when there's gaps in my vlogs <clears throat> in the days. Um, unfortunately, this is why, because um, I'm in bed suffering and... I just, I just can't do everything. I, I know people don't want me vlogs, me laying in bed like this, but I just thought I'd explain myself. And I know I don't have to explain, but um, this is it. Morphine and a lot of other medications. I take two different types of morphine. And um, my pain nurse, I spoke to last week, is... Um, playing around with my medications at the moment and I know that's going to cause even more problems next week when that starts but I've just got to get on with it you know um, I mean we have booked a table just for a car very later at six o'clock so I will get up and because all I've had today is some toast um, I will get up as a family and go out and have dinner so but yeah it's a bit um, it's a bit sad when all you want to do is get up and do stuff with the family and 
not having the energy to do it it's 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 crappy and i know people who do suffer with chronic illnesses which is like my fibromyalgia and my um, chronic fatigue syndrome it's, it's crappy and everybody knows how bad it can be and how bad those days can be and if you haven't suffered from it and you think oh it's all in the red and stuff like that believe me it's not it's um it's deliberating um and as much as I try to get up each day and carry on, it, I can't. I mean, my epilepsy is under control. Um, I've not had a fit for a couple of years, so that's good. Um, my fibromyalgia, um, I've been having a bit of a flare on my legs, hands and feet just recently. And um, that's nerve pain down the outside of my legs. So that... Um, that causes quite a bit of problem at the moment. Usually I'm quite good with that. My um, medication is working really well. Um, what else have I got wrong with me? Diabetes. Well, my sugars at the hospital yesterday, as I said earlier, was 24.9. And then after about four hours, they came down to 20, which is still not good enough. So I'm speaking to the GP tomorrow to get in with my diabetic, diabetic nurse and see what we can do from there. There is talk of me going on to insulin. And I just need to be better with food that I eat. I know you've seen what I eat sometimes. It's not good. So that's good to be sorted. And then my non alcoholic cirrhosis. Um, I had my scan a few a few weeks ago. I think it was 11th of September. That I have every six months to um, determine um, just basically liver cancer. That's what they look for. It's just HCC surveillance. And that's a bit crappy, to be honest. Um, it's something I have to do every six months. And then I have um, all my liver enzymes done and feta, alpha, alpha feta protein. Is it feta alpha protein? One of those, the cancer markers. And um, my blood yesterday at the hospital were all good. So I don't need to worry about anything towards my liver. It's just the pain that I'm getting from it. And now people do say that you don't get pain from your liver and that's correct it's the sac that the liver's in that causes the pain so yes it's um it's such a such a pain in the ass a pain in my ass um but i've got to keep going because at some point down the line i'm going to need a liver transplant and hopefully that's in the very near future um not well i don't know but yeah i just thought i'd um come on and tell you that and now i'm gonna close my eyes for an hour and see if this, this morphine is starting to take effect so um don't take it very often in fact my last prescription of this was 10 months ago so i've been doing quite well uh not needing or a morph it's just these last few days that uh, I've had to start introducing it again because um, I'm maxed out on all my other medications so this is my breakthrough pain relief so yes so I will take you with us if we do get out for his meal it's just a carvery at the bull's head um, so yes that should be nice and it was just me Nick Max and Charlotte so I will see you in a little while guys so bye bye for now bye 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 Hello again guys, um, I do apologise for this red mark on my face, um, I've just come downstairs from out of bed. What time is it Charlotte love? Seven. It's seven o'clock, so it's been a while since I spoke to you last. These guys have all been out for the carvery. Um, I didn't feel well enough, I just had some morphine just as you were going didn't I? So, yeah, I'm just eating a bowl of light. I think I'm going to have a few crackers. It's just a bit of a drum. I need to have something to eat. So I've had today's toast, haven't I, love? I've been good. I didn't have... I mean, it brought himself a, a McFlurry. I've been good. I didn't, I didn't want one. And I, he, brought me, he brought me a big glass of water up, didn't you? And I enjoyed that because it was cold. Um, so I've had a nice big um, pint of water when, when they went, which was about 20 to 7. 20 to 6, sorry. So, yeah, um, I do apologise for this flood, guys. Um, it's not good when you're not well. 
and obviously you don't see it because I don't vlog when I'm not well I um I just hide away um for weeks at a time sometimes as you've noticed I've disappeared for weeks at a time but I want this to be more real and I want to show that life isn't all perfect and rosy um there's times when we are unwell and I'll document it if, if I'm well enough to document it. So yes, I'm going to close down this vlog here because I'm just going to have a little something to eat and then I'll probably be going back up to bed and going to sleep. So if you've enjoyed this vlog, hope you have, <laughs> please give it a big thumbs up and, if all, and as always don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Click on the notification bell and you won't miss future videos. I am trying to upload Monday to Friday and have the weekends free. We will obviously vlog at the weekends for during the week. But yes, so thank you for watching guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.